to free agency and to varying degrees, all seven Canadian franchises have been busy. Now the dust is beginning to settle. Which Canadian club do you feel has done the most to improve itself to this point? Well, that's clearly the Montreal Canadiens. General Manager Mark Bergevin has been very proactive in spending money to round out the balance of his group. It started in net with the acquisition of Jake Allen. You may not have needed another goaltender at that price point, but Allen is going to pick up minutes off of Carey Price. Joel Edmondson is acquired and signed as well. So that defensive core is as good as anybody in the National Hockey League as far as balance. And then you look up front. The acquisition of Josh Anderson for Max Domi. He's a big, strong, physical winger who can score. Then Tyler Toffoli is signed. He's going to help for the depth of that balance up front. So I think Mark Bergevin nailed it out of the park as far as balancing his group from top to bottom. He's done a fantastic job. All right, let's look at the other side of things now. There's still lots of time to get things done. But to this point, which Canadian team has done the least to improve itself in this abbreviated offseason? On paper, Vancouver is weaker, and it just starts in net. Jacob Markstrom is a superstar, and he ends up going to the Calgary Flames. So you're going to trust that Braden Holtby can come in and help Thatcher Demko get to that next level. Chris Tanev is a really strong defenseman. He ends up going to Calgary. Yes, a soft landing in Nate Schmidt, different player, but ultimately Tyler Toffoli leaves and Stetcher leaves as well. So you're lesser on paper right now for the Vancouver Canucks, and you're hoping that Holtby and Nate Schmidt can help that group out. 